up guys, Liam here and welcome back to LSJ TV. As you can tell by the title, today's video is going to be a QA. and a It's not going to be a normal sit down kind of bit of the, I, I think they're a bit boring to be honest. So I'm going to take you along just like a normal vlog, taking you through my regular day, answering the questions as I go along. So let's get started. Okay, so question one, would you rather be weak and look big or would you rather be strong and look small? Um, and I would probably say, to be honest, I'd probably say look big and be weak because the numbers are kind of like an egotistical kind of thing. It doesn't actually matter necessarily how much you actually lift. Um, whereas if someone sort of forms an opinion on you just like this, or you know, you're trying to build an Instagram following, it matters how big you are, so. Currently on route to the gym, and the next question is from Jack. Do I have like a subs goal, a subscriber goal, um, by the end of the year? And yeah, I said that in my 2018 goals video. I want 1,500 subs, because that was pretty much double what I had. Um, and so, but I would like 1,000 by the time of my birthday, and that is May, so sort of mid-May. Um, it's a long shot, it's a, it's a big goal, um, but it's, 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 it's doable, it's doable, so only time will tell. Thank you. Biggest gym pet peeve. See that rack right there? No one used it. Biggest pet peeve. Not re racking the fucking weight. Run around, run around, run around, throwing that dirt all on my name. Cause you knew that I knew that I knew that I'd call you up. You've been going around, going around, going around every party in LA. Cause you knew that I knew that I knew that I'd be at one. Next question from Amanda, my favorite clothing brand to work out in. I'm uh, not sure. kind of turn into a do whatever the hell I want to do kind of day um, purely because I've already trained my five days this week doing an upper lower upper lower upper split at the minute um, all with different emphasis and stuff I'll go into that in a different video but I've already hit my five days and it's Saturday um, and I just wanted to come to the gym and it was something to put in the video as well and you know go through the go through my day like I normally would um, so I'm just doing, start with a bit of legs, so I'll probably move on to a bit of arms, maybe some core. Might hit, throw a bit of shoulders in there somewhere, I'm not too sure. And we done. Made it back from the gym. Um, not very productive session, to be honest with you. I just did, it ended up being, like I said, a whatever I wanted to do kind of day. Finished off with some fun, like, cardio, medicine ball, trampoline thing. It was really cool. Um, and I thought that I would answer the next question, which is, Opinions on CrossFit. Um, something that is a bit of a cool thing to hate on social media. It gets a lot of hate for... Well, I mean, I can see why, but it seems like not really a legitimate reason. I think CrossFit is amazing, and if you look at elite CrossFitters like this guy, he looks absolutely insane and could compete, you know, in a bodybuilding competition. However... If CrossFit is done improperly because people are like on the jumping on the hype, like jumping on the CrossFit hype and all this kind of stuff, and the exercise isn't conducted properly, it can be very unsafe. And 
that means that you can have a high, very high risk of injury. If you think about it, you know you're doing all these swinging movements and stuff which professionals keep under perfect control and they can literally be doing a muscle up and stop at any point. They have that much control over what they're doing. However, if you're an amateur, say if I was to do it, I wouldn't have a clue and I'd probably end up injuring myself. So, I think it's a good thing if it's done properly and you have the proper coaching and all that kind of stuff. So, if you do try it out, then be careful, make sure you know what you're doing before you start well, just, just be careful. Also picked up a couple of supplies for tonight. Not what I would necessarily recommend, but I bought some Echo Falls um, rosé wine stuff. Hey. If you're a... Piss off. If you're a student, you know exactly what that is. Um, and some diet lemonade. Key that it is diet, because otherwise, are drinking even more empty calories that are going to do absolutely nothing for you. However, it is Jack Jones at City SU tonight, so if you don't know who Jack Jones is, so next up is to get changed, have a shower, and make some dinner before tonight. Question from Charlotte behind the camera herself. Most difficult question I've ever been asked in my entire life. Nando's or the gym? I mean like, the gym's my favourite thing to do, but Nando's is my favourite thing to eat. So, I don't know. Uh, it's obviously what? the gym. I don't know, I want dumbbells on chicken, okay? <laughs> right. So, usual after shower shot, um, and I'm gonna have a quick scan through, because I've not actually really looked through them properly. Um, okay, here's a good one from Louis. <laughs> Ariana Grande or Zara Larson? <laughs> now, are we talking music? Are we talking looks? Like, I know you love her, oh, okay. I know you love Ariana Grande, Louis. I know you absolutely love Ariana Grande. But I'm gonna have to say Zara Larson, just because Come on. He's also asked a couple more, who's bigger, you or Jack? <laughs> and that would be our friend, Jack Husband, um, so me. Favorite type of chocolate? Um, well, milk chocolate, like, you know, like a dairy milk, but I love sort of Belgian chocolate. Have you ever had Gillian's? Something called Gillian's, you can get them here in the UK. I'm not sure if you get them over there in Florida. Louis from Florida, by the way, if you don't know who Louis is. And his last question was, what's your favorite type of workout split, if not already asked? Okay, so no, no one had already asked that. And the simple answer is uh, push, pull, legs, push, pull, legs. Because it allows me to get the most volume in, it allows me to go to the gym six times a week. As you guys have already seen in this video, I've been to the gym six times this week. I've already been five times and gone through my upper, lower, upper, lower, upper split. That basically meant that today ended up being an extra day, which was kind of wasted because this week I could have done my push, pull, leg split. But I never know whether I'm going to be able to get to the gym six times a week or not because of my social life, my work and everything like that. Combined, you never you never really know. So a safe sort of number for me is, uh, is five days a week training upper and lower body workout. Have it. So, dinner is three muscle food sausages, some sweet potato fries, and some veg. That kind of helps answer my next question. What is your favorite post-workout meal? Now, I wouldn't say this is my favorite. It's one of my favorites, but these are muscle food sausages, which have reduced fat and everything in them, um, but they taste just as good as, you know, your supermarket ones, which are pump full of water and a pump full of fat. So, pretty much, I suppose the answer would be anything muscle food. <laughs> Anything muscle food that can fill me up and just satisfy me, just like this can. But if my favorite meal overall would be steak and chips. So, um, you know, this is kind of a close second or third, maybe. Alrighty, everybody. So, dinner went down a treat as always. Muscle food always does the job, always does a good job. So, thought I would skim through a couple more quick questions. So, if I just have a quick look through here. Okay, when do you reckon you'll rep out 225 for 10? So 225 is 100 kg, uh, which I've just hit for three and just before Christmas hit for one. 
So I would say, to be honest, because I've got like 10 days left from the time I'm recording this until I cut, it's not going to be anytime soon. It's going to be in the next book, probably, I would say, you know, this time next year, or I'd like to do it before the end of the year because the cut won't last forever. So um, yeah, I, I, I don't know, around this time next year. Next question, have you spent much time in Scotland? No. Okay, this is a good one. How do you stay motivated? Um, I assume that's from Kendall, so I, I assume that you um, mean motivated to stay sort of consistent with the gym, and that really isn't, that, that's never really an issue for me because it's my favourite thing to do. As I mentioned earlier, in the shower, it's my favourite thing to do, and so the motivation to actually go isn't really an issue for me. Like you've seen in today's video, I've gone for a six day just because I wanted to, um, because I enjoy it, because I love the feeling and the positive endorphins that you get and everything from it. So in terms of motivation, I, I've never really struggled with that, to be honest. So there's a couple more questions done. And as you guys know, I uh, bought some Echo Falls. I would not recommend this because if you've been following the channel for a while, um, I follow like a, a TREAD acronym, Train, Reduce, Eat, Appreciate and Damage Control. Uh, if you know, you know, uh, like if it's a couple of videos back, go and have a look for that. Um, but, so I would not recommend this, I would recommend sort of spirits and zero calorie mixes. However, oh, ho, 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 ho. Mm. Cheers everyone. That is literally one of the only reasons I bought this, so I could do that on camera. I'm going to start sipping on that and start editing some of this video because it's actually live tomorrow. Um, and I'll catch you guys in a little bit to answer some more questions. So this was Charlotte's Valentine's present. Don't waste it, it's expensive. Good job you don't do YouTube reviews, isn't it? You always do that when you try things. If it's worth a second sip, then, then it must be nice. Own personal review of the uh, pink gin and elderflower. Pretty good. So, I am just going to finish off today's video because it's already like 11 minutes long. Um, thank you if you're still watching, by the way. I'm just going to finish it off with a quick uh, fire a couple of questions that I'm going to answer. Um, what is my star sign? I am a Taurus. Uh, what is my favourite colour? Blue. How about, what was the name of your first pet? I had two dogs when I was a little kid. One was Izzy and one was Rosie. Um, and they were both little, like, Irish setters. Uh, or red setters, whichever you call them. So, yeah, that was it. There's a few more questions that I want to answer, but I want to be able to go into, uh, how should I say it? I want to be able to go into more depth. Um, so, for example, like when I should cut and bulk and stuff about Christian Guzman's competition, collabs, etc., etc. A lot of those came from the same person, so thank you for those questions. Um, I will go into those in more detail in another video because this one's long enough as it is. So, that's going to round off today's video, guys. Thank you so much for watching. I'm going to have a great night, and I'm sure you'll get to see that in the next video. Thank you so much for watching, guys. As always, remember, no regrets. I'll see you guys in the next video.